Hello again, Bob Stockberger with our midweek devotion. This coming Sunday will be 4th of July. And so that's the title of our midweek devotion, 4th of July. And we are so privileged to live in a country where we're free. Our forefathers who left Europe and came to America looking for freedom, freedom to worship, freedom for the pursuit of happiness, law and order, freedom to own property, all these freedoms. Oh, and they have flourished and flourished and grown. Yes, our country has had the stain of slavery. There's no question about that. And yet we fought and died, huge numbers died to free the slaves. And over the centuries and over time, as laws have been passed, we have unprecedented freedom right now. Unprecedented. Everywhere I go in the world, and I've been literally around the world a couple of times or more on mission trips in Latin America, Africa, India, everywhere, people beg me, please take me back to America. Because all around this world, America stands above all other countries as a light on a hill, shining freedom and liberty to all those in the rest of the world. They would do anything to come here. And yet there are still issues. We certainly are not a perfect union. We're growing into, we hopefully a more perfect union, but we're still full of sinners because we live on this earth. I'm a sinner, you're a sinner. There are people with prejudices, there are people with hatred. There are people that hurt children. There are people that kidnap people. Yes, absolutely, there is sin in America just like there is everywhere. But of all the countries in the world, we are head and shoulders above all of them with regards to freedom. And for that, this Sunday on 4th of July, give thanks to those who are serving in our armed forces Give thanks to those who are serving as first responders. Give thanks and pray for the ones who have laid down their lives for our freedom. So we're free to express our opinions. We're free to protest. And yes, we're free even to burn our flag, which saddens me. But God has truly blessed America. But you know, Jesus talks about freedom too. And the freedom we have from our Lord and Savior is far above anything on this earth, even America. Listen, Jesus is talking <clears throat> and he's saying that everyone who commits sin is a slave to sin, which we are. And the slaves don't stay in the house forever, but the son does. The son remains forever. And here we go. So if the Son, Jesus Christ, if the Son sets you free, you will be free indeed. You will be free indeed if the Son sets you free. And what that means is if you have a personal relationship with Jesus Christ, He is your Lord and Savior. He sets you free from the bondage of sin that binds you. Yes, I still sin. Yes, I am a human but I am forgiven. And when I make a mistake, when I do sin, I pray to the Lord for forgiveness and He restores me. And I am free of the shackles of sin. And no matter where I live, if it's America or Africa or India or Latin America, I can still be free. Even in a place where there is no freedom, I can be free with the Son of Jesus Christ who died on a cross for me, shed his blood, died and resurrected the third day, we are free indeed. Now that is a celebration we should have every day of our life, every minute of our life, thanking the Lord for his freedom. And we are free indeed through him. Pray with me. Father God, on this 4th of July, we do give thanks <clears throat> for all those men and women who for countless years 
have fought and died for our freedom, the freedom that allows us to do and say as we please in this country. I just thank you for that. Yes, we're not a perfect country. We never will be. We are slowly becoming a more perfect union. But oh, there's still sin because we're people and we are fallen and we are sinful by nature. But oh Lord, you free us from that bondage of sin through your son, Jesus Christ. And he has set us free indeed. And for that, I just praise your most holy and precious name. And I say, Amen. I hope you enjoy this fourth with your family. If you have any questions about your faith or where you're going, here's my email, where you're going with the Lord. I would love to speak with you. If you want to follow us on our Facebook or YouTube, there we are. If you care to contribute to LifePoint Giles, there's our Venmo account. Share this video with anyone you would like. And God bless you, and may you have a very blessed 4th of July.